I know that 3D modeling might seem like difficult and tough, um, tough work. Um, the other day I was thinking about uh, 3D modeling and I was listing a, a group of tools in alias modeling, alias uh, dis digital design, thinking how many tools do I actually use for successful modeling. And I have listed uh, something like 17 different tools. And then I had an idea to write a video about it and show you all um, that 3D modeling, even automotive 3D modeling, successful modeling, is not that difficult. If you can, if you can manage, if you can master those uh, 17 tools, you will be pretty much um, ready, ready to go, ready to model anything you want, successfully model anything you like. I have divided those tools into four subcategories. The first category is the um, creation, okay, so it's geometry creation tools. The second category is manipulation tools. The third category is the biggest one and it's called geometry handling. The last group, the last uh, category, it's called evaluation. This is where you evaluate geometry. So as I said, after you get to know these tools, you will be, yeah, you will be able to model anything you like. So if you are curious, please keep watching. Category one, geometry creation. Okay, so in this group, in fact, you only need three geometry creation tools for um, 3D modeling. The first one is a curve tool. Uh, I know that Alias offers many options for lines and curve creations, but the truth is that with the only one tool, you will be just fine. Also, the same principle applies to surface creation. You can forget the whole palette of different aids and just stick to a square. Because the square tool will give you all you need. I mean, the, the perfect four-sided base. If you need, you can also further manipulate the square patch. The fillet is a tool uh, which is set aside and ready to be used when time comes. What I mean by that is um, filleting is often done at later stages of the project when main surfaces geometry is set. Uh, filleting sometimes requires a lot of time to complete, so you should be confident that it's worth spending time on. Category 2 – Geometry Manipulation In this category, we only have two tools for geometry manipulation. These are actually all you need. So the first one is the Align tool and the second one is Transform Scenes. Um, these are most powerful tools. They let you sculpt and form your design to any shape you desire. At the same time you can easily manage continuity. You will find yourself manipulating geometry all the time, which is kind of normal, uh, especially in the automotive industry. Uh, in this industry, sometimes tweaking is done to the nearest millimeter of a time of one week. Category 3 – Geometry Handling Welcome to this palette of 7 tools. They are all equally important. You will find yourself using them very often, so you might think of creating some kind of short keys to evoke them easily anytime you need. Um, they perfectly supplement each other in design workflow. They can greatly speed up the process of 3D modeling. Each of them have totally different function, but they all have one in common. They are here to help prepare 3D models for final sign-off. And finally, the last category for geometry evaluation. These tools will show you 
how good of a 3D modeler you are. They can also show you how bad of a 3D modeler you might be. But there is no forgive me when it comes to quality evaluation. At this stage, it's worth to remember that sometimes some zebra stripes compromises can or even should be made if they go against the volume of the model. So it's very important to set evaluation priorities just before checking the geometry. If you need more information on the subject, you can click on the link in the description. In the meantime, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more next week.